Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming and today I want to show you a Tarek Ibn Ziyad, Sargon the Great Rally that is extremely powerful. And as you watch this video today, I want you to get a look at the red numbers and I want you to get a look at the white numbers that are going on here and see if you can try to figure out how well the rally and the garrison are trading. Because one thing that I noticed when I was running this rally is that, oh my god, there is so much skill damage. This, this, this is not a sped up footage. Like you're watching this rally unfold in real time. And every second, there's one or two instances of skill damage, sometimes three instances of skill damage all at once. Two from Sargon, one from Tadek, and it is absolutely insane. Now that said, when you get a closer look at this after this counter rally is finished, you'll notice that the white numbers are pretty bad for this rally and very good for the garrison. So we were watching this trying to figure out how the heck is it doing and we had no clue. Now, spoiler alert, it is doing really well here. Now this counter rally comes in, we swarm it down. With Sargon the Great as the secondary here, you really do, I think, want to swarm down those rallies and get rid of them very quickly, which is something that uh, 254 is good at. But if you're running this rally, this is the thing that I think you have to keep in mind, is that Sargon is vulnerable to getting swarmed, unlike when you pair with Pakal as the secondary, who is going to make it a lot easier to handle getting swarmed, reducing the damage you take, and really wrecking the swarmers. Now here I mentioned in a prior video, one very important thing that a rally needs to do, uh, a rally lead needs to do, is clear out all these folks that are under a thousand troops in the rally. Um, I'm not really too worried about the rally getting to a hundred people, which is the maximum number of people that can be in the rally. You know what happens if you hit a hundred? Is nobody else can join. And you're going to take like 60 seconds figuring out, oh, uh, what's going on? Why is the rally dropping in health? And like nobody's getting in. And then you realize what's happening. By that point, your, your rally is probably going to die off anyways. This is the same, uh, the same thing that happens in a pass, except in a pass, I mean, usually it's a much more catastrophic result if you end up losing it because you cap on the number of people that are in there. Uh, it's really, really bad. So anyways, we're clearing those people out. People can remove themselves from the rally, but this is just, I think, safer. The rally lead can sort of take care of that for folks. Um, and now you can just sort of watch. There's no counter rally. Watch the red numbers. Watch the white numbers. We're taking 24,000, 23,000, uh, and okay, at that moment, we're dealing 26,000, and this is important. So they switched to a YSS. Now, I think this was a huge mistake because you know from my testing, if you watch that video, uh, and I'll have a card in the end screen to remind you of that, that YSS is actually a terrible secondary to run against Sargon the Great and Tata Gibbon Ziad. That is the worst thing I think you can do is to load a YSS into the garrison. So... The answer is either going to be uh, Zeno with Flavius, or you're going to run Archers to handle this particular rally. So once we saw the YSS go in there, I was getting really confident at that point that the trade was going to be good. And the second they put a Flavius back in there, and I'm pretty sure they'll do that over the course of this footage that I'll show you, the white numbers change around to be like 26 to 30,000 that we're taking and we're dealing like 13, 14, 15. It was pretty bad. But it's just so hard to assess what's going on when you have red numbers popping up. What, 30,000, 30,000, 30,000 over and over? There's 86,000. One thing I did notice that I thought was really weird um, is that when we rallied with Tarek Ibn Ziyad and Pakal, we were getting damage in the realm of like 170,000. And I don't know if we just can't see the damage numbers here because there's actually just too many red numbers clogging up the screen. I mean, there was 145,000 just a couple seconds ago. Um, or if for some reason Pakal is just doing more damage, Pakal does have 5% all damage. He does clear debuffs, but I don't think that would explain why we saw like such huge damage numbers. The only thing that... I can start to think of that that might account for that is just the fact that this rally ran for like 25, maybe 30 minutes, um, and the other rally ran for two and a half hours or so, and over the course of two and a half hours, like, yeah, you're just going to see more damage numbers because it just ran longer, so you're going to see like a bigger range of stuff that ha you know, happens. That's my only guess here as to what was going on. So this rally was really cool to run. You can see, by the way, I've tapped on the rally. Uh, I really clicked on the rally since this is on PC. Um, so you see that emoji 
uh, indicator is up there, uh, the option to send out emojis, but also you can see the troop count. So I thought this would be really cool to show. So you can see that the rally is being kept pretty well topped off. And, you know, people are maybe being a little cautious trying to dodge getting hit by YSS AOE. You saw the rally just hit 2.8K. It's back to 2.7, 2.9. So that's pretty dang full as far as a rally goes here. And I think if you were going to run a counter rally on this particular rally, the thing that you would need to set is probably going to be, I mean, I hate to say like Attila Takeda or Attila Nevsky and then swarm with the Attila Nevsky, but that's probably what you need to do is you need to set a, a counter rally that is really hard to swarm and then you need to swarm with your counter rally. So your counter rally comes out like you'd see now and then you wait one, two, three, swing in with everybody onto the rally. And I think that's how you take down this rally. And you can just shut it down. And it is very swarmable. Um, now, you'll take a little bit of hurt, and I'll show you the report, because they did ultimately swarm out this rally. And that's how it ends, is they swarm out this rally, and uh, we don't take the pass. Spoiler alert. But the report's pretty good, and I wasn't uh, too upset about having a chance to see, like, how are we even doing here? <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be good, and I think it was. So there you see a bunch of people stepped into swarm, and then they actually backed off. And I think if you were going to swarm like that, you just swarm with the rally when all the people who could swarm you while you're swarming the rally are already locked on to the counter rally. That's how I think you you do that without getting kind of wrecked here. So now I'm back looking at this uh, rally screen again, kicking people out. I do have the general, right? You can see that on screen. I do have my equipment on. I guess I panicked and took a look here to be like, I, I'm good, right? I, I am good, right? I got everything I need here. Here's, uh, is this another counter rally? No, they're rallying a city. I'll tell you what, let's go get a look at the report. I feel like you've already got a good sampling here of the skill damage, which maybe I'm just getting used to it now. But when I first saw this, I just thought it was eye popping, man, how frequently they were getting hit with skill damage and just how much skill damage that was with the active skill of Sargon, active skill of Tadek Ibn Ziyad, and the fourth skill of Sargon popping off for pretty moderate damage. Really crazy. Okay, here we are in the report, and you can see this actually was a less than a 30-minute rally. It was like closer to 25 minutes, more than 35, 30 minutes. So it was a much shorter rally than the one I had in my previous video, but the result was freaking amazing. And I, I fully attribute that to the fact that they were putting YSS in there, which I think is a huge mistake. So you're looking at 4.3 million deads to 5.5 million deads, overall power loss of 67 million to 90 million, which is obviously a great trade. This is one that I would say is positive. And, you know, I mean, if it was like a couple hundred thousand, like here or there, it's pretty close to even. But over a million of lead here is pretty dang good. Uh, and if we look at what happened with the swarming, this is really important to review so that you get a sense of how swarmable this rally is. Um, this person swarmed with 25,000. That had to be an error. Almost all their troops go to the hospital. In fact, uh, 27,000 got sev wounded. So that means, I don't even know how this works. Something to do with shielding. I, that's weird. More, more troops than they had went to the hospital. GG, got them. Uh, counter rally, somebody needed to clear their hospital. They got some deads. And you can see, by the way, the counter rallies actually do work on this rally. Uh, with the Pakal rally, we were trading even or sometimes positive with the counter rallies. But here you can see the counter rallies are actually really putting in work on this rally. So it is a very vulnerable rally compared to using Pakal. 23,000 to 155,000. I mean, it still hurts to swarm it. 25,000 to 176,000. I would attribute the, the poor quality of these trades to the fact that they started with way too few troops. They should not be swarming with that. Um, same is true here. I don't know why it's like the signature move in this report to swarm with 200,000 troops, but 10K to 48K. Uh, here's a uh, Henry Nebu counter rally. Also two for one the rally in terms of sevs. So that's really good, really good indicator that you should counter rally this thing. Uh, 28K to 56K. As we scroll down, another counter rally, another two for one trade, just about 74,000 to 47,000, uh, 35,000 to 204. I mean, this is the right number of troops to swarm with, 
But I will point out that Nebu Esong is not a great march to swarm with. I don't think it's bad. I mean, it's a great field march, but it does get kind of wrecked, especially if you run it to red. Uh, as we continue on here, XY with Joan. Now, this is a proper march to swarm with, and this is a good insight because it didn't trade as bad, but it still almost got two for one, and they did pull off before running all the way to red. So it is still a little bit difficult to swarm this thing if it's being kept full. Obviously, you know, over 2 million troops is kind of rough here. Um, all right. Oh, and, and this is when... The rally was defeated, by the way. So they didn't pull off. They actually finished it off. <laughs> they took out the rally. So that was somebody who was a part of that swarm. Uh, 34,000 to 45,000. 404,000 troops. Yeah, I think this is Ritz. Ritz has uh, the tech to get this done with the swarm. 412,000. And this is uh, 31,000 to 24,000 trade. And this is when the rally got wrecked. Yeah. 64,000 to 62,000 even trade there. So I wouldn't say it's exactly easy to swarm this rally, any rally really, but compared to other ones, that's what I think you got to do. Oh God, Guan Yu Tommy. Let me tell you what's not a combo to run. And that is Guan Yu Tommy. I get what they're doing here, trying to put debuffs onto <laughs> the rally, but I mean, just use an archer commander, just use Nebu. I don't know why Guan Yu would be the choice. On you, Tommy, man. All right. I'm going to take you to the bottom of this report just so we can see what's going on. I don't know what these one troops are. It doesn't work anymore. That used to be a thing. Um, it's not anymore. If your troop dies, then the buffs don't apply. So uh, that's not a thing. 77,000 troops died here. So clear your hospital before you actually swing in. Uh, 21,000 troops died. 73,000 troops died. I wonder if they just swarmed with too many troops. Um... And, and ran it down and didn't check their hospital. I don't know. Uh, counter rally here, 181,000 to 40,000. Wow. I mean, these counter rallies are doing great. Attila Nevsky. You know that I often say I don't like Attila Nevsky, but this is where you use it. You you run it, you get the enemy to start swarming it, and then you also swarm with all your marches on that rally. Oof. Okay. Uh, I mean, continuing through here, these are still like, Pretty positive trades generally for the rally against the Swarmers, but obviously the defeat took, took place here. Rally gets shut down, which is what they wanted to do. They needed to get us off their backs. We scroll all the way down here. There are a lot of marches that took place in this Swarm. If I remember correctly, at the time that this was happening, I recall saying, I'm 28x Swarmed, I'm 30x Swarmed uh, as this was going on. Even the people in the rally need to remember to clear their hospital. We're getting deads, which is really silly. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't look like many, but it's the same person getting deads a lot of times from each one of these marches that swung in. So it probably added up for them. Uh, cruising on through here. I don't think we'll get another counter rally that we get to look at. Uh, here we're at 100 or 1.6 million when they're swarming. 1.4 million, 1.1 million. We're down to a million. I remember feeling like we were at a million for a while before we ultimately fell. But once we reach this number, you can see they're now trading pretty evenly. So, I mean, 300,000. The rally's about to die at this point. We're at, yeah, there it is. Rally's gone. So when we get a look at the support skills used, I think this looks pretty good. The Belisarius is correct. And I think... The attack over here is fine. I actually probably would run Sun Tzu if I were doing this again. I don't know that the attack is getting me what I need. I don't know that the defense here is getting me what I need. I think the 20% skill damage is where you want to be, given that there's just so much damn skill damage. You may as well just move all in on the skill damage plan. And I think maybe a part of the reason that we didn't see the big skill damage numbers that we saw in the other rally, maybe this is what's going on, has to do with Zenobia's talents. So why don't, I get a, why don't I show you this now? We get a look at these talents because I think this is really important, and this is one of the things that's maybe a disadvantage of Sargon uh, and, and really mitigates how effective he could be, which is that Zenobia has emergency protection. When the troops led by this commander take skill damage, there's a 50% chance they will gain an additional 15% skill damage reduction for the next three seconds. Given that Sargon is doing so much damn skill damage, I think what happened is that he has 
every second, it seems, an opportunity to trigger this. So the reason that we're not seeing such big skill damage from Tarek Ibn Ziyad in this combo is that we're probably triggering emergency protection. So when we see those 140k numbers, that's probably something that would have been in the realm of 170, but emergency protection was active. And given how much we're hitting this thing with skill damage, it's all but guarantee with a 50% chance to trigger that they're going to have 15% skill damage taken reduction. That is my guess as to why it is that Sargon is not doing as well against Zeno and is one of the many reasons why I think Zeno is a fine choice as long as you have that Flavia secondary. That, I think, really holds it down. And that is in part, I think, because of the silencing. Obviously, the Tarek Ibn Ziyad Sargon uh, combo wants to do skill damage very frequently. And when you use Flavius, there are damage over time effects, which subsequently will cause a silence effect to happen. I think that's on the fourth skill. Here it is. When launching a normal attack against a target inflicted with an additional damage effect, there's a 100% chance of inflicting silence for two seconds. That's what I think's going on that is hindering the effectiveness of this rally, making it ultimately a pretty balanced combo. I actually think it's a balanced rally, it seems. In the meta, I don't think it's totally OP. So if I were running this again, as I mentioned in my prior video, the big mistake that I made was that I was not using the Arabian civilization right over here. If I had used this, I think the trade quality would have been even better. And I think 5% all, more all damage just does way more than you think it's going to in making a trade really pop off. So doing it again, I'd run Arabia. Would I run this rally again? Absolutely. Uh, would I run the Pakal rally again? Yes, but I think the Sargon rally just felt safer. And like, so what if they ultimately swarm it out? If you're getting a better trade and you just need to relaunch your rally again, who cares? Like, that's fine. I, the only time where that would be an issue would be if you are trying to take down a building flag or a building fort. And even then, I mean, you usually you've got enough time to potentially run it again. And even if you don't, the Sargon does more damage. And damage is what you need to take down something that's building. You need pressure. So I feel like I would go for the Tarek Ibn Ziyad Sargon rally over the Pakal rally. And I liked using Tarek Ibn Ziyad as the primary. This is an important takeaway. If you watch that rage going, it's really fast. And the Tarek gives you lots of rage right over here. It's the desperate elegy that's insane. This is giving you 25 rage a second, and I want to just do a little bit of math for you about how insane this is, okay? 25 rage a second over the course of 10 seconds is 250 rage. Big numbers. If we look at what you're getting in the skill tree, oh, and by the way, great mitigation over here, okay? Reduce skill damage taken uh, by 9%, reduces all damage taken by 1.5%, giving you another, uh, what is this, 9% defense over here. Plus, you've got some damage mitigation over here. And the defense tree is giving you great mitigation. Meanwhile, okay, I mean, I could have run a Sargon primary. Um, over here, you would be getting 6% more skill damage. I mean, that's pretty good. Over here, after the primary commander uses an active skill, secondary commander gains 6% more skill damage. I mean, there is a lot of skill damage that we left on the table. But in terms of the rage restoration, you get 100 rage uh, at a 10% chance to trigger. So... 10 rage a second compared to the 25 rage a second we were getting before, okay? Or put a little differently, here you're getting another 120 rage per skill cycle. So I don't know. It's hard to say exactly which way to run this would be better. I, I would honestly be game to run that pass rally all over again if they want to load up in the pass. We'll do that again. Um, I think Tarek was a good choice because when it comes time to swarm, those defensive stats were really important. But the more I look at this, the more I'm like, well, I mean, 3% skill damage over here and another 12% skill damage over here is pretty good. Only 6% skill damage taken reduction, though. I don't know. Maybe Sargon Primary would be the way to run this. Unfortunately, the KVK that we're in is, I mean, all but wrapped up at this point. We did a speed run on this KVK. Uh, it unfolded in a way that I, I think led to a rapid conclusion of this KVK. We, we've entered by the pass over here. Uh, we're burning the fort. Uh, I got a spam they put over here. 
Um, we built a fort over here and we dropped in the zone over here as well. So we've, we've cleared all this out. Um, so this zone, it, it's kind of just a matter of time when we move on through here and clear all this out. That's happening kind of slowly. It does look like they're, they, I mean, they may choose to go into King's Land. I mean, geez, maybe they will go into King's Land. How many, we got a couple days till King's Land. King's Land's on New Year's. So I'll tell you what, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Maybe there will be something in King's Land. That would be kind of cool if there is. I will stream if something actually happens. I think we might actually be letting them keep these forts. The more I look at them, this map, it doesn't seem like we're trying to take them out. I think we're actually trying to go for having a King's Land fight. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I just assumed we'd just clear it all out, but this looks pretty good to me. Subscribe. It should be fun. And by the way, if you want to see the other rally that we ran, which was Tariq Ibn Ziyad with Pakal, it was a very long running rally. All the card right over here in the end screen. And also, if you want to see the testing that we did, where we proved that, hey, you really don't want to run a YSS against Tariq, that card will be right over here as well. Both are really great videos.